In this video I'm going to show you how to survey points. So we click on survey and you can either use a map or a point survey method. Map mode shows the actual points as you measure them. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to switch off my Bing maps. I don't want to show any maps in the background. I click on settings. I go to my survey method. In most cases we'll use topographic and we'll say while we're fixed take a single reading as long as we're fixed that's fine but if we do float next to a tree we'll take extra shots five shots or for floating or five shots for fit, uh, single and then my accuracy if i don't achieve the accuracy the point will not be recorded or it will warn me if i'm not inside that accuracy so if we are fixed and in that accuracy points can be measured quite easily and then i make sure that my fixed solution is always ticked and I'll go back to my map screen and then you'll see there's a little icon here that you can just press or you can press the enter button the numeric counter at the top there that needs to be left alone that will increment these unique numbers you cannot have the same number twice so make sure that these numbers are unique so if I'm gonna now survey a point and I'm gonna call it point A and I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. Okay, so now it tells me that we are not inside the accuracy. And that's because my receiver is next to a tree. Uh, you'll see at the bottom there the accuracy is currently 37 on the horizontal. Now I had it set at 30. So I'm just going to say go on. That's good enough for this example. It creates a layer. And now every time I measure, it's going to give me that same uh, precision message. If I want to get rid of that message, move into a better location so that your satellite view is better. Or we don't recommend this, but you can also change your horizontal precision to something that's a little bit more lenient. All right, so I'm going to survey that point. I can see the vertical is set to 80 at the moment, so I'm going to make this vertical precision at this stage. I'm going to make it 0.1. <clears throat> now the point will be stored without any problems okay but as i said i don't recommend that keep your setting as a recommendation if you're doing topo points just keep it at 0 0.3 and vertically at 0 0.5 0 0.05 All right, and then you can also do quick point, which gives you lower accuracy. So if you are in cases where you are close to a tree or whatever, and you just want to do a really quick point, you can set it like that. There's no uh, counting of points. It just, boom, when you hit the button, it will calculate a point. Or you can even go and set it to continuous point where you can just put it on your vehicle. If we're fixed, we're running at one point per reading and we can set our interval either by time or by distance so a good survey would probably have a point every 20 meters so set it to distance and as you go back and start the survey it will take the first reading and now the gps have to move 20 meters before the next point will be recorded in my case that will not happen because my gps is stationary and i'm sitting here in the aircon office but when you're done press stop and the program will resume the menu options for you so at any point you can jump back to a topo function and continue a manual survey like you used to you can also click on this little pull out box at the top where you can say zoom extents uh, by doing this now i have also brought my entry my Entrip um, base station interview which is quite a far, far distance off you'll see the distance by pressing that button you can see mine is set to Cape Town which is about 22 kilometers away from us so it brings it into view but generally it will stay zoomed in onto the survey area that you're focusing on